Holograms. Almost every sci-fi film and TV show over the previous 50 years has featured some kind of this future technology. A lifelike 3D item made of nothing but light that hovers above a table or interacts with our hero's screams. This is the future. Following several failed iterations of the technology, a firm named Light Field Lab has begun production on a technique called solid light, which is supposed to create real-life holograms. The promise is essentially the holodeck from Star Trek. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you what these incredible holograms look like and how the technology behind all of this works in the first place. For decades, holograms have dominated science fiction films and tormented entrepreneurs. However, no one has previously manufactured actual holograms on a large enough size to be practical for any real-world use. Most holograms seen around the world are little more than gimmicks and effects that make use of limited areas, mirrors, VR and AR headsets, or autostereoscopic glasses. Light Field Lab's holograms, on the other hand, aren't some clever ploy. They're the actual thing. Big deal, I've seen holograms for years, you may be thinking. In a nutshell, yes and no. The vast majority of visual effects labeled as holograms are not. For example, if you've ever been on the Haunted Mansion ride at a Disney park, you'll know that the dancing ghosts aren't real ghosts, sorry, spoiler, nor are they holograms. They employ a method known as Pepper's Ghost, which goes back to the early 1800s. Tupac Amaru Shakur played live on stage 16 years after his death in the same manner. What about holograms? The spinning LED image generators that were popular at CES a few years back. 3D displays, virtual reality, and augmented reality are all hologram-like but not the actual thing. Even looking glass 3D picture frames aren't holograms, they're autostereoscopic, or glasses-free 3D, like the Nintendo 3DS. When we conceive about holograms, we all desire something that appears in space, much like a genuine item would. Not anything constrained to a little screen that can only be seen from a specific angle. Ideally, we'd want to see a holodeck or Princess Leia requesting assistance from Obi-Wan. Light Field Lab's solid light technology seems like something out of a science fiction novel. The company's goal is to use light to recreate items in the actual world, similar to a sci-fi holodeck. The mechanics of how they want to make this work is actually rather straightforward. Simple in idea, but far from simple in implementation. Essentially, they are forcing light waves to interact at a specific place, and that interaction is apparent to the naked eye. They may create the appearance of an entire thing, made of light by doing this repeatedly. And when I say a lot, I really mean it. They have 2.5 billion pixels on their 28-inch diagonal display. In comparison, a 4K TV has 8.2 million pixels. They foresee holographic TV walls made up of these smaller panels, which may contain up to 245 billion pixels. These pixels are significantly more complicated than those on your smartphone or television screen. They can accurately adjust the phase of light waves, causing their interactions to produce the holographic appearance. Red, green, and blue pixels are all that are required for standard LCD or OLED pixels. Solid light pixels must generate appropriate colors in a precise location in front of the display in order for the picture to appear to jump out of the screen. And when I say a lot, I really mean it. They have 2.5 billion pixels on their 28-inch diagonal display. In comparison, a 4K TV has 8.2 million pixels. They foresee holographic TV walls made up of these smaller panels, which may contain up to 245 billion pixels. These pixels are significantly more complicated than those on your smartphone or television screen. They can accurately adjust the phase of light waves, causing their interactions to produce the holographic appearance. Red, green, and blue pixels are all that are required for standard LCD or OLED pixels. Solid light pixels must generate appropriate colors in a precise location in front of the display in order for the picture to appear to jump out of the screen. Some of you may be aware with Yamaha's IntelliBeam audio technology, which employs an array of tweeters to create the illusion that music is originating from anywhere other than the soundbar. This is effectively the same thing, but on a much smaller scale because light waves are orders of magnitude smaller than sound waves, which are made up of air molecules. Your field of vision with the solid light display is basically whatever your display's field of view is. 
That is, if you look at the display from 180 degrees to the side, you won't notice the hologram. This isn't nearly that level of enchantment. For the hologram to appear, there must still be an imagined line between your eye and the screen. What makes solid light unique is that it does not require any special glasses to function, nor does it require you to be right in front of the screen. You can still be at an angle, and the hologram will appear in whatever portion of your eye's field of view is occupied by the solid light display. Because the technology is expandable, you might have a much larger display with holograms. Consider how wall-sized holographic screens may revolutionize entertainment. Forget about VR devices, perhaps VR rooms will suffice. You could have a room with solid light screens on all four walls, the floor, and the ceiling, and you'd almost have a holodeck. Or, at the very least, as near as contemporary technology allows. Lightfield Labs investors are a who's who of serious tech, including Samsung. Silicon Valley is awash with strange businesses that somehow obtain cash, but the investors in Lightfield Lab are a who's who of serious tech, including Samsung. The firm has already sold out of pre-orders, indicating that this isn't just a pipe dream, they're actually producing them. History is littered with firms boasting holography and soon-to-be-released holodeck-style technology, but Solid Light has some intriguing physics that might be the breakthrough that holograms require to become ubiquitous. Will this be your next television, or perhaps your next, next television? No. However, you should start seeing these displays in real life as early as next year. They're already in pre-production, with the goal of launching into mass production in a variety of sizes soon. The study group's current effort, sponsored by a career award from the National Science Foundation, takes things to the next level by producing rudimentary animations in the air. The breakthrough lays the path for an immersive experience in which individuals may interact with holographic-like virtual objects that coexist in their immediate environment. Most 3D displays need you to stare at a screen, but our technology allows us to produce pictures floating in space, and they're real, not a mirage, Smalley explained. With this technology, you can create bright animated material that revolves around, crawls on, or erupts out of everyday real items. To show this notion, the team constructed virtual stick figures that walk through the air. They demonstrated the connection between their virtual pictures and humans by having a student insert a finger in the center of the volumetric display and then filming the same stick finger walking along and leaping off that finger. Smalley and Rogers described these and other recent advances in a new report published this month in Nature Scientific Reports. The technique addresses an optical trap display limitation. Instead of showing virtual pictures, Smalley and Rogers demonstrate how to imitate virtual images using a time-varying perspective projection background. We can do some clever stuff with motion parallax and make the display appear a lot wider than it is, Rogers explained. With this technology, we would be able to generate the appearance of a much deeper display, all the way up to theoretically an unlimited size display. People predict holograms to become commonplace in entertainment venues, amusement parks, cinemas, streets, televisions, and mobile devices throughout the world in the near future. It's unlikely at those costs, but the future may offer far more reasonable variants. So, what is your opinion on these holograms? When do you think we'll see commercial holograms and for what niche exactly? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.